So will it be easier to break the eight with Al Hadi Baumia, Alan Chemate, Kennedy Japon, uh the uh, Kwabene Japon or Godfrey Dami? I think which, which one would be easier to break the I eight? think the MPP has always been in a better position to break the eight. And indeed in two thousand eight. President Kufuadu nearly broke the eight for the MPP. The very first round of the elections, Kufuadu was, was a victor, was he not? He was, yeah. He was the clear leader, no. It was the second round that somehow he was upset. So we have always stood the, um, the chance of breaking the eight. And I think that now, we still, on account of the human resources at our disposal, on account of the record of the government, indeed, we, we stand a, a better chance to, to break the eight. And <laughs> so, Breaking the eight, yes, of course, has not been done before. But so is the return of a former president to power. That has also not been done before. Has not been done before. So mm. we go into the twenty. So both are breaking something. You want to break the eight. They want to, to, they want to, to institute a former president's return to power. No, they want to reignite the past. Reignite the past. Yes. That's how you call it. Yes, and I think that the people of Ghana will reject it with 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 with, with all. Um, with, with, with every ability <laughs> that they can command. And indeed... But, but the MPP government right now is struggling over the last one year. It's well, been struggling. Well, so hold on. So I come to that. So what is the NDC delivering right now? Uh, you look An at, alternative. You look at, you look at the, 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 the recent election conducted by them, of their national executives. Mm -hmm. An assembly of the old stock. Johnson there, Asini. Yeah. Johnson Asini. These are old names. Tried, tested. Um, Fifi Kwete. Perhaps dead, beaten already. <laughs> the other, I mean, look at Asinikete, Fifi Kweti, all the old names. Mm -hmm. Even in terms of the national organizer, is it the general secretary? Mm -hmm. No, that's Fifi Kweti again. So, really, I do not see anything new at all. If at all, for the MVP confront now, is an assembly of, 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 of um, a crop of old people that they are familiar with, and therefore know how to beat them. Now, none of these people that you have mentioned, um, um, Alan Chematin, uh, Dr. Baumia, Kennedy Japan, has ever been Jogate. has ever been in the saddle. Mm -hmm. President Mahama has been in the saddle, so we know what he's is 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 made of. We know what his record is. I can point to developments in this office, and I can show a clear improvement on the record of this government as opposed to the NDC. Before in this government between 2017 and 20. Um, 2023. In terms of even the stock of vehicles available um, to this mission, we have delivered more than half, more than half of the total number. My predecessor, Madame Gray Kufu, delivered 27 vehicles last year, 2022. On account of the um, support of the Minister of Finance, the President's decision at Cabinet, I delivered 91 vehicles. Oh, 91 is significant. 91 vehicles. Almost 100. 91 vehicles. The Legal Law Reform Commission had only one vehicle which is acquired way back in 1997. Mm. Legal Aid had only about three or four vehicles, the last of which was acquired in 2012. Mm. Other offices, we saw, so I lose 91 vehicles, I doubled the stock of vehicles available to each, agency, each agency and each regional office. Of state. Let's talk you about the talk law about, house project. We can talk about the human resource development. The law house project. Yes, even before we come to the law house, talking mm -hmm. about it, because that's actually what is important, the human resource development of the office. Again, boosted it um, um, immeasurably. Last year, 70 attendees were recruited. The year before, 2021, another 70 were recruited. Madame Gulekufu's time, another 60 or 70 were also recruited. So really, in terms of boosting... So, so, so within we the so six years, you recruited over 100 lawyers. That's it. And this year, I hope that the Minister of Finance will not uh, meet me with a response of the embargo on recruitment. I, I have actually applied for financial clearance to recruit about 50 or 60 more attendees. And we did it because really... Are you training some of them we, abroad? Are you, are you doing Yes, that? we are. I mean, we, uh, recently, um, as a result of um, a collaboration that I sought to strike with Georgetown University, very prestigious university in America, Five attorneys from Ghana are pursuing their Masters of Law degree. Three of them from Ghana, two of the, three of them from the Ministry of Justice, um, two of them from, from the private sector. Mm -hmm. It is a collaboration to be engaging for the next five years. Okay, so Georgetown University is uh, paying for half of their 
uh, cost of studies and all that, and Ghana government is also paying for half of, of, of the cost and all. That includes stipends and all. But these are practical benefits. Apart from that, almost every month, there's regular training of attorneys um, as a result of collaboration between this ministry and um, um, law firm, prestigious law firms abroad. You can mention them, Hogan Lovers, and other White and Kings. And other, so you are boosting this office? Boosting okay. the human resource capacity and all that. And that's, then Let's you talk, talk about, about the law house. house. Yeah. Yes, what's what's yes. going to happen? As the law house, yes, it's actually um, designated as a new office for the office space for the office of Atenjura. It's, it's a project that was commenced remarkably by the president, the Kufuado, when he was at Tangera. Oh, that's a long yeah, time ago. a long time ago, in 2001. Oh, wow. Yes, that has not been completed. Atra construction started in 2003. By the time I was office as at Tangera in 2001, it was only at about 30 35% um, um, uh, complete. Um, it was only 30 35% complete. That's the record by, mm. by, by ASL, which is a, a consultant for um, the project. Somehow, since I came, I've ensured that there's been um, an earnest construction of, 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 of the project is going on, and, and I'm sure by the grace of God, within about six months or so, the law house will be done. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the contractors are sure as that they can finish less, but I think that well, let's give or take maybe six months or even by the end of the year, it will be done. And this office will move into the law house. Mm -hmm. and so, so from a stage where was 35 percent complete when I was in the office. We're done, and yeah. So and okay. these, these are development, but and I'm saying that this kind of development cuts across every many, ministry. many ministries. Every ministry, every ministry has such a story. So you can see the effect, practical effect of um, um, the, the, the 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 work of, of President Kufado. And that could aid break the eight. Hundred percent, because it's not break the eight on account of of nothing. You build it on, on the strength of, of your work or record and all. And I've already indicated that the difficulties we find ourselves in clearly are, are global. And, 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 and there's, if, if they're America, Britain and all, cannot even absorb themselves of, of such a situation. How much? About September last year, I visited the uh, United States of America, lodged in a hotel. A year before, the same September, I visited America, lodged the same hotel in Washington. That's actually when I brokered the Georgetown um, deal. I went to the president to the UN conference and I said, oh, I have this Georgetown scholarship to uh, broker. He was also going to Washington. I said, oh, okay, I'll tag along. So we went to Washington. You know, the president was starting a train. I was just starting a train together with him and all that. And the, the, can you believe that the rate that we paid for the room, same category of room, had more than doubled. By the next year? By the next year. It was about three times. Prices are shot up that shot much? Shot up. And just last week, I read on uh, watching the news headlines on CNN, the price of milk, uh, commodities, commodities yeah, yeah, going increasing up. and all that. And of course, even now, there's actually an apprehension of, of, of worse shortage and, and shortage of, I mean, difficulties with electricity and all that. So I think that perhaps we have been a little bit um, not too, we, we, we have uh, defaulted a little bit in terms of our communication. I think that's, a, that's an area that clearly. As a government and as, as a party. As a government, as a government, as a party, I think we have defaulted in, in conveying to the people their situation and making them accept and understand the actual causes. And so we find NDC people whose record, with all respect, is no better. <coughs> Shouting on radio about the mismanagement and all that. But we saw the proceedings in Parliament with respect to the Kenofrata censure um, 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 matter, which allegation of mismanagement could they establish? I don't think any at all. Okay, finally, uh, Cabinet Reshuffle is in the offing. Maybe announce the next hour. Are you confident that you will not be leaving this ministry for another well, ministry? Well, I say, at the, at the be, be has, uh, with the pleasure of the president and and, and therefore, uh, in this office, yes, of course, my destiny <laughs> of my fate is in the hands of the president. Of course, I'm confident that uh, by the grace of God and I come to the work that <laughs> I have done and continue to do, I do not expect any shock. Do you me. fancy another ministry? <laughs> well, uh, you, you, you are, you're in the media talking about collapse of ministries. Yes. Perhaps you add 
um, I tell you, to the industry and finance. <laughs> industry and finance, that's too big. But that's what you're asking that's too big. for. That's what you guys are asking for. That's too big. No, we're so, asking for fisheries so, so, and agri so, to come so, together. So, Attorney General, mm -hmm. and also Mr. for Justice, Interior, Trade, Industry. No, Attorney General can combine with Interior. I think and then have the police respond to the Attorney General as yeah, well. I think, I, think, I think that's actually the, the standard in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. The Department of Justice has to transition over the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the FBI. The FBI, okay. Yes, so the FBI is part of the... the, the, the Justice, Justice Ministry, not yes. the Interior Ministry. Yes. No, not at all. In okay. Fact, well, indeed, the view is taken that the ultimate effect of the work of the FBI or other investigative agencies of state is prosecution. Mm -hmm. And therefore, so why does the attorney general not exercise um, supervision over, over the work? But, the, but the, of the CID. criminal investigations so, department, CID, don't yes. they respond to you? So I think I think that's don't they bring you dockets? Yeah. Well, I made this point not really with regards to any um, observation about a specific minister, or in fact, if, if I must concede that the minister for interior has been one of of my ardent um, supporters. I mean, he's been very cooperative. He's been in this office and appreciates the difficulties. Of the office and all, and so in terms of um, commitment to me, it's actually one of the most committed. But I think that is some reform of the law that ought to be done, where we get to the stage where the CID is under the Ministry of Justice, and that's actually what prevails in the states of America. In the U.S., the Department of Justice, just like other investigative agencies, the Drug Enforcement Administration, mm -hmm. and no, the um, such institutions on tobacco, drugs, and, and all. They are all under the, under, 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 under the, the, the attainer, who is the head of the Department of Justice. I think that will solve the situation where um, every now and then people are asking about some cases, what is happening to them. So at the Human Rights Day last year, for instance, people were asking about uh, Amir Swali, Meda, and all that. And of course, I had discussions with the former IGP Upon when he came, he said, Peter the case called me, he told about it, and he outlined the processes that um, the outfit, criminal investigation department, was undertaking. With, with but I'm saying that if indeed the CID was under the vision of the attainer, clearly the AG can exercise direct control and, and, and monitor the such cases and all. So that's a real um, impediment to justice delivery. But I think that's an argument in the, in the long term. We can look at it ultimately. Attorney General, thank you very much. Oh, always a pleasure. Yes, I hope I have done justice to the issues that were yes. agitating your mind. We will send you the comments of our viewers. <laughs> thank you very much. Yes.